Hey, you are going to learn how to create a glitch effect in PowerPoint like this. I am Scanja. Let's make it work. Okay, here I have my slide uh, that I did for, for my client and maybe if I'd like to add glitch effect here or my client would like to have glitch effect. So right click here as always, new slide, delete these placeholders and then go into presentations mode and print screen, just press button print screen. Usually it's on the top right corner of your keyboard, but if not, try to find it and then just paste that photo screenshot of, of on, um, on the second slide. Then you should add few shapes, for example this one here. You can place it wherever you want, the size might be different, you can play easily. I will just resize it. Okay, now I have my shapes. I will select my photo, then press Ctrl or Command at Mac and select all of these shapes. Then go to Format, Merge Shapes, Fragment. Then what I did, I have my shapes, but as photos, fragments of photos. I will just delete these ghost shapes leftovers from me fragmenting and then I will just select these fragmented shapes and make it bigger like this then I will take this one copy and paste it here and I will add some animation for example I will add random bars going into animation pane these are my previous animation I made for this slide, but this is my new animation. I will say to my animation, you will start on click. You can make it also to start. Whenever you want, start on click, effect options, going to timing and saying 0 0.02 is duration and it should repeat 10 times. And of course it should rewind after after animation is finished. Let us see how how does this it looks you see it looks good. Then I'm going to take the second shape paste it here and I'm going to add different animation. Let's let this second shape just appear with previous and then just disappear after point 0 15 seconds. Let's see how this is. Looks good. And then my third shape. Same thing. Now we can play with another animation. Let's try this wipe. Let's see what is going to happen. It will start with previous, but not with previous. Yes, with previous, but at 0.00. .00 effect options, timing, then I'm going to say 0 0.02, it would be duration and repeat 10 times, rewind when done playing. Let's see what we have. It is looking pretty good. Then what I'm missing here, I'm missing sound effect of glitch. So I'm going to enter the web at Google and then try to find glitch sound effects, so uh, sound effects free. I like to use one platform, it's freesound.org. Here I am, I will just type here glitch, let's see what we have. Okay, let me see what is this one. Not good one. Let's try with this one. I will just 
download this, this effect. I will take my effect, uh, sound effect and place it somewhere here. Then I will say to my sound effect, OK, start if I go to animation, start with previous and because it's very, very long, longer than our animation, I should just trim it. Let me try like this. Duration is 0 0.29. Let's see how this one is working. Not bad, but I'd like to have something more dramatic. Let's see. Let me try to find some, something here. Now it's better. Since it's too loud, I'm going to give low loudness. Let's see. And here I have my glitch effect. Guys, that would be it. If you like this video, please share it, write me, subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time. Bye.